Hi everyone, Mike with Newfound Pass. This week's haul video did our normal route yesterday. We did our three thrift stores, um, and the picking was slim, but we're being picky anyway. So we, but you know, for being kind of slim, we still got some really, really good stuff because uh, um, we just don't need that much stuff, honestly. But uh, yeah, jump right in. I did hit the DVDs as usual, and I got this really cool Wonder Woman: The Complete Collection. DVD set it has all three seasons. I make sure this is this is used. I usually pick these things up new. This is used, but I made sure to take all these out and make sure all the discs were there and everything. I only paid three bucks for this, and I don't know. May have to keep this for a while. Somebody wants to watch it, <laughs> but it is worth about thirty to forty bucks in that range. So next up, we got a Sopranos, the third complete third season, brand new. Like I like them. Um, got that for two bucks. Um, yeah, no, I don't comp this stuff because it's new. It's easy to sell. You know, I just pick it up and go. My wife picked up this bag of stuff. And on this side, there's just some junk in it. But it's the other side that's cool. Uh, she paid, we got about 25% off at this store, so two and change. On the other side, there's three decks sealed of the Lord of the Rings trading card game. And there's different ones. Um, they, and these are about 15 to 22 per deck, depending. So, yeah. So these decks, you know, at minimum, 45 bucks for a two and change bag. So, yeah, good find. Next up, I found this pair of uh, Neos. These are uh, boot covers, you know, kind of different. Yeah, they're by. Cordura Plus, only by DuPont Neos. It's kind of different. But I didn't pay much for these. Uh, I've got our 25% off, so $7.50. These are brand new with the tags. Uh, comps, just like everything, was they're all over the place for this, but minimum of 40 bucks for these. And they may be up, you know, 40 to 60, 65 or so. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty neat. Got this pair of, uh, got this pair of skis. Uh, just kidding. These are a size 15 big shoes, but they're a Salvatore Ferragamo Really good condition Paid uh, they had these marked at 20 bucks and we got our 25% off so about 15 bucks for these and these are a Florence Model made in Italy um, Just like with any shoes comps are just crazy all over the place um, but being the size they are, uh, these shoes can sell from as low as $75 all the way up to $175. With the size these are and the conditioner in, I'll probably be in that <clears throat> 100 to 140 range or so for these. And uh, these will definitely go on posh as well and hopefully bring a premium. So, yeah, really nice. And I picked up these really cool shoes and these were cool enough. We just threw these in the cart and kept on going. But guess what when we get home do you see an issue with these when I held these up I'm like these are not the same size and they're not there's a left one and there's a right one and they're the same peanuts pattern but they're different sizes one is a ten and a half men's and one of them's a nine men's okay so Ross so, uh, so you know what I'm gonna do with these I'm just gonna list them separately because there are amputees out there. Maybe somebody wants one of these and somebody wants one of these. So, you know, you make a, you make lemonade out of lemons, you know. So, but anyway, that was a really good find. <laughs> it still kind of is, you know. So, uh, we pick these up when we see them in good condition. They're not necessarily super viable right now. These are the Life is Good diner mugs. And they're diner mugs because they're heavy duty. They're thick. They don't make these anymore. So, and right now they sell from 15 to 25 dollars so for a lot of people that'd be good as, as it is but um uh, if we have a feeling if we hang on to these and hoard them 10 years or so they'll uh be worth a lot more you know we only gave 75 cents for this that's what we like to get for them next up this music right plus we got this for two bucks brand new in the box this is an old software uh, my wife comped this out and this sells for about $30 plus shipping. So around the 40-ish mark total all in. So, you know, new in the box. We like that. Picked up this art pottery bowl by Deaver. And this is a bunny, like a throne bowl. 
We picked it up for two dollars and fifty cents. Got Easter coming up, so uh, you know this is probably one of those twenty-five ish, thirty dollar bowls, maybe more. Who knows? Got to do a little bit more research on it. Okay, next up, this my wife picked this up as well, and that's like that's kind of weird. And <clears throat> what this is is like a homemade what they call tramp art. Tramp, T R A M P, art. And um, what people would do is take wooden cheese boxes and make stuff like this. Make little, you know, vanities, little mirrors with a little caddy on the front. And we picked this up for just three dollars and change after our discount. And uh, ones like this sold, you know, anywhere from fifty-five to a hundred bucks or so. And my wife said she's comfortable in the $65 range for this one. So yeah, keep your eye out for tramp art. Learn something new every day, right? Next up, we picked up this uh, We Can Do It. It has a women's suffrage 50th anniversary stamp, all framed. Picked this up for $7.50. Um, don't know how much it's worth, but it'll probably make on our wall. I don't know. So we have a collection of art kind of like this. So. Next up, we picked up this. This is like a folding, folding like cushioned picnic blanket by Skip Hop. So it all folds up tidy there, and you can use it as a seat, or it unfolds into a, like a blanket with a uh, coating on the back, so you won't get wet on the ground and stuff. I'm gonna get five dollars for this. We'll probably end up keeping this, but the Skip Hop brand is a really good one to look for. We could probably sell this for twenty to thirty bucks if we wanted to. But uh, we'll probably throw that in the truck. Just have with us. We need it. Okay. Next up, this is a really vintage, like '70s era uh, latch, latch a pillow kit, not a latch hook kit, latch a pillow kit by Columbia Minerva. It's from 1977. Date right there. And this is a little kitten. Uh, it's new in the box. The box is janked, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Paid. You know, four and change, maybe five bucks for this after our discount. And uh, we sell these things all the time in that 25 to 35 range, some even higher. And no comps for this one exa exactly. This one's old enough that there's nothing, you know, there's just nothing out there. So this could be a 40, 45. I don't know. We'll just have to throw it up, shoot for the moon, and hope for the best. And it's worked out a lot doing that. So, all right, next up, I got, I got one piece of clothing. One piece of clothing. That's how picky we were. It's actually a two-piece tracksuit, but it's one piece of clothing. It's an Adidas tracksuit, and it's embroidered with Bethune Cookman softball. Bethune Cookman is a horse, historically, uh, African American college university, and uh, their stuff sells really well. Look up Bethune Cookman on eBay. Lots of solds in that forty to fifty dollar range for uh, just kind of off-brand stuff like Carl Banks G3, that kind of stuff. But this is an Adidas tracksuit, uh, trifoil stripes, uh, brand new with the tags, and we paid twelve dollars and fifty cents for this. We got the, the the jacket and the pants, both for twelve fifty. Um, yeah, I think this suit will do very well, seeing that the off brands sell for forty ish, sometimes a little bit more. I think the Adidas set. Maybe bring double that, $75 or so, maybe even 100 if we get lucky, get really lucky. So a lot of people have said, you shoot way too high and stuff. Well, I set the high mark a lot of times. I set the high mark today on two or three things that sold. So yeah, shoot from the moon, sometimes you'll get it. Uh, next up, we got this Paris City of Lights puzzle. Uh, we pick up a lot of these dowdle, doodle puzzles, uh, two bucks, brand new, just bread and butter stuff, you know easy to store so I'm not worried about storage on that and these sell from that 20 to 30 dollar mark so to open them up make sure they're new because that's the only way to really sell this item I probably could flip but we're going to keep it for ourselves as well so uh, we like for the springtime and even the summertime sometimes if it's a mild summer these uh window fans these dual window fans and this is a Bionaire window fan and we paid 20 bucks for this and this is brand new in the box the uh, tape is the original tape. I can tell that from experience. I've done that a lot with printers and stuff. And uh, brand new ones of these on Amazon are a hundred bucks for this exact model. 
um, yeah, I'd rather pay 20 and keep it. I probably could sell it for 40 or 50 bucks. So if you see these brand new and you want to flip them, you know, depending on what you get them for, you could probably get 40 or 50 bucks on eBay for these. So yeah, really nice, really nice fan. Look forward to using that. Last item. That's yeah, that's it. Small but good haul. Good haul. My wife found this and she was like, <laughs> I was like, awesome. Another Black & Decker Space Maker can opener. The EC75 model. I uh, paid, you know, got our 25% off. So, you know, foreign change for this. And uh, this is brand new. The box has been open, of course, because it's in the thrift store. They always open stuff. But this is brand new. It has the hardware. It has the manual. The cutter head. Everything's in plastic. Uh, yeah, every time I list these, they sell super, super fast. Last one I sold to these, this exact model sold for about 70 bucks, and it sold quickly. So I'm probably going to shoot for the moon again on these, because, yeah, historically, these things just sell within, you know, a few days to a week. So I may push the, the limits and, you know, raise the price 20 or 30%, 100 bucks. See if we can get these over 100. Yeah, super, super nice. So that is it, guys. That is our very good very small haul with the one little shoe faux pas now that'll be all right and that'll be okay um so yeah if you guys have any questions of course shoot me a comment or an email uh thanks to all of our new subscribers our patrons um we will uh be publishing this tonight for our patrons uh live tomorrow public tomorrow on youtube and we'll see you on wednesday with another uh mid-morning pack and ship hodgepodge video and thursday with the what sold video Thanks, guys.